Okay, uh, good day ladies and gentlemen. Um, so today what we're going to talk about is uh, we're going to add our first player. Okay, so in our last video we added some platforms and a background um, and now we're going to add something to move around these platforms and background in a kind of platformy style. Okay, at the same time we're going to start talking about some objects. Right, so if we look at the uh, Construct 3 screen on the right hand side here, you can see that we've got this kind of folder structure. Um, the layouts, as we know, are the levels. Um, we've got an event sheet, but we'll talk about that later on. And then we've already got these two object types. So we've got a background and a tiled background there. Okay, so basically everything in Construct 3 is an object. Okay, and what that means is it's just a thing in the software that we can then manipulate and make it bigger and smaller and add sounds and do different stuff to it. But everything that we want to be a thing in our game will start life as some kind of object. Okay, and the way that we go around adding objects is that we can do this we can do right click and then insert new object and now you can see all of the different types of objects that we can use okay but to be honest we are mainly going to use uh, these objects here so from general and input so at a later stage when we start talking about um, getting input from the mouse and from the keyboard we'll be using these kind of objects here uh, we've already used the tiled background and the tiled map and today we're going to insert a new type of object called a sprite. So if I insert my sprite there, I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to click down here and give it a name and I'm going to call it player and then I'm going to click insert. Okay. Now it looks like nothing has happened and this is where a lot of people get confused but if you look at my mouse you'll see it's turned into a cross and what this is doing now is it's waiting for me to say where do I want my player to be. So I want my player to be on the far left hand side and I'm just going to add my sprite there. Okay. So as soon as I've clicked I want a sprite it's opened up the sprite editor. Now this is very similar to um, Pascal, where we can um, actually draw our sprite. So if I wanted to draw a character here, I could just uh, draw my big happy smiley face. And then when I close, there's my big happy smiley face. Okay, and then that would be my player. Uh, Actually, I don't want to do that. What I want to do is to edit my sprite. So I've just right clicked and then click edit. And what I'm going to do is drag and drop a file from my resource file. So here's my resource files. And I'm just going to pick uh, this alien here. I'm just going to drag and drop it onto my sprite. So you can see that the screen has turned blue and then there's my sprite. Okay, so I'm now just going to zoom in a little bit so that we can see. And in fact, I'll leave it like that for now. And then I'll just press like that. And then there's my sprite. Okay. So, just going through my to-do list for this lesson, we have now insert added a object. I've just added a sprite that I want to do. And I've assigned it to an image. But one thing, I'm, the next thing I'm going to do, I just want to test it and press play. Right, okay, well there's my image, there's my sprite, but moving the keys doesn't actually do anything at the moment, it's just static. Okay, so that's I, not the world's greatest game whatsoever. What we want to do next is 
we want to tell construct that this is actually going to be a player okay and we do that using something called behaviors so we had an object okay the object is the sprite and now I'm going to tell the game that there is a set of behaviors that I want this sprite to have so I'm going to right click I'm going to add and then a new behavior and the behavior that I'm going to add is going to be if I scroll down a little bit I'm going to add the platform behavior okay now if I press play let's see what happens well what happened was that my plat my player is now a platform okay and what uh, is now a platform character and what platform characters do is they have gravity so when I press play it falls through everything nothing's there to stop it so what we need to do now is to add a behavior to my platform to say I want you to behave like a solid object okay so I'm going to click on the platform and I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a behavior and then the behavior that I'm going to add here is called solid okay it says at the bottom make the object impassable so that ob other objects cannot move or fall through it so that sounds like the one we want okay so now when I press play my character falls down and ends up on the platform and also if I press up my platform jumps my character jumps and if I move left and right my character moves left and right and if I move my character off the screen if I move my character left sorry right he goes off the onto the next platform okay now there's one other behavior um, if we move the character off you can see he's actually fallen off the screen and what's happened now is that my character has fallen down to this platform here but we haven't done anything we haven't told the game to move the camera so there's another behavior that we need to add which is I need to go back to my player right click to add behavior and then there's a behavior called scroll to which is here and what that will do is make sure that the camera is focused on my behavior okay so as I move my character now my character falls from one platform to the next and the camera is following him and my player can go from one side of the platform to the next side of the platform to there good okay so that's the basic that's the basic uh, actions that we have to do just to get my platform up and off he goes dead right okay so that's how we've added a platform uh, added the sprite okay so let's just recap I added an object then I assigned an object uh, an image then I assigned my sprite a behavior um, the platform behavior and then I made my platform solids by adding the solid behavior and the one thing that's not on this list then is I added the scroll to behavior for the sprite just to make sure that the camera followed the player as we moved along okay so this is the startings of our game um, obviously then the next task is going to be for you to create your own player um, and to add that into your level 
and then send me a screenshot and I look forward to see what we produce. Okay, take care, I'll talk to you all soon.